It's Melvin Gillard, the Young Assassin. Keep listening to the Roman Show. I mean, let's talk uh, first and foremost. I want to talk to you about the golfing right now. You got Dolph Ziggler, WWE superstar, and then you got yourself, who's representing MMA. I asked, I asked Dolph, how are you guys doing uh, as far as competing? He says you're competing with biceps, but <laughs> <laughs> what's your take on this, Melvin? Well, you know, I, I got some pretty nice sized biceps. Well, we can I can't complain. Nice but uh, right now, man, my golf game, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. You know, not not my best day, but um, it's just good to be out here at the road, man. Just enjoying it, man. Um, with my lawyer and friend Frank Smith, and I mean, he, he set this up for me. And today's actually my birthday, so wow. this has been one of the best memorable birthdays that I can ever think of. So, that is far. awesome. Well, happy um, birthday, man. But now we, we're going to try to pick it up on the back nine, and right now we're still under, so we, we're shooting pretty good thanks to our colleague Josh over here. Well, so, um, he's keeping us above water right now. Well, Melvin, tell me about the training uh, right now going on as uh, soon as you'll have a match, a fight? Yeah, I'm uh, fighting July 7th. Um, I'm not at will to say who yet. I mean, everybody pretty much knows who it is, but um, I'm not at will to say until I sign my contract today. Um, it's sitting at the office, actually. But, um, yeah, July 7th is my next bout, and, um, you know, as everybody knows, I'm coming off a two-fight loss. I was on a five-fight win streak at, not too long ago. Um, I suffered two losses um, due to submissions. So right now, man, you know, I'm just in the gym. I uh, just got back to the gym, actually, working with the Black Zillions and um, my fellow uh, colleagues. And, you know, right now I just want to focus on my submission game because uh, I'll be down if I get choked out again. You know, it, it can't happen again. Well, you're training with some supreme, top-quality Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys. You got Marcos Aurelio out there. You got Rashad. Tell me about training with these guys compared to where you were before. Um, training with these guys, uh, you know, I, I had really good jiu-jitsu partners at Jackson's, but here the jiu-jitsu takes the cake, man. I mean, I, obviously when you're training with high-level Brazilians, that's real black belts, uh, the whole game level changes. Um, I'm getting choked and submitted every day, you know what I mean? But it, it's supposed to happen. Um, I'm not the best one in the gym, even with my striking. As, as good, as great as I am with striking, um, I've, I've actually been getting my butt whooped in, in, in a striking program. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a life lesson and um, I feel I'm getting a lot better. And I'm gonna get better as the time goes on.